guys, how's it going? I hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, and everyone's got all their presents and stuff sorted out for Christmas. Everybody's staying safe. Wonder how everyone's getting on with, you know, all the plans for Christmas in terms of COVID and different lockdowns and things like that. Um, I know it's certainly tricky over here in the UK. Everyone's in like a different tier system, um, which is kind of lifted for a few days over Christmas and people can see each other. But it's only like, I think it's, you can see three different households or something like that. So I don't know what it's like over in the US. I hope everyone's doing good. Um, reason for that, talking of the US, is I've got a box here from the US of A. Uh, this is from Rick Alvarez. So clearly I'm on the nice list. So I've got this sent through. What we normally do is throughout the year, he kind of picks up stuff in America um, that's hard to get hold of in the UK and kind of vice versa is that um, I'll pick up stuff in the UK that is harder to get hold of in America. And uh, when we've got a load of stuff up together, we normally kind of tally up how much it all costs. Um, both times it's kind of ended up equal. So it's just like a swap thing. So I end up sending him a load of stuff, he ends up sending me a load of stuff, and we pay for postage. Because it's um, quite a big box of stuff here, um, last couple of times it's ended up being quite expensive. So the parcel that he sent to me to the UK cost him $80 to send over, and then I had to pay um, like, a, like a customs charge which was £25. Oh, I thought the camera was going to go then. Just knocked the table. I was more worried about my tea as well. Um, and then the stuff that I sent over to him was uh, 100 quid, 100 pounds. So mega expensive. I don't know if in the USA you have to pay any customs charge or not. Anyway, it's got a whole bunch of different things. I just thought I'd open it up and just show you some of the different bits and pieces that we've got here. Um, there's some, I think, I think there's some Transformer stuff. And um, I know there's definitely some He-Man stuff. I can't remember what other bits I got. Um, so it might be a bit of a mix. Um, it might be more He-Man than Transformers, um, but we'll take a look. First thing we've got on here is this Mega Construct set. Um, and this is a Wind Raider, and it comes with a Skeleton He-Man. So I've got like another Skeleton He-Man. So I've got quite a few now. So um, this comes, um, one each. I don't know if there's any difference between the sets. Um, and the, I've also got another set in here, which is another uh, He-Man versus Beast-Man. And again, it's um, just two figures on the pack like that. And I don't know, because I've got these figures already, but the Beast-Man one certainly is quite a, a bit of a different colour to it. So the, it's a real kind of bright orange. I don't know if you can Kind of see that's quite a bright orange that's in there as opposed to the other one. Um, I've got um, Super 7 stuff. So this is, I've got Hordak. So, uh, and on the back there, um, we've got a few different figures on there. It shows Mantana, Shadow Weaver, Modulok, she and uh, Grizzlaw. Um, and I think the original price on these was uh, $15. Um, and then it's been marked down to $10. So I think that's a pretty good price. And then we've got uh, She-Ra. So that's uh, pretty neat as well. Yeah, she's kind of, <laughs> I think she's a bit, I don't know what you think. I think she looks a little bit odd in that. Uh, and then I've got this Hot Wheels thing, which is, again, this is the Wind Raider. It's like a die cast thing there as well. It's very cool. Sorry, it is literally mostly He Man now, I come to remember it. Um, sorry, just a, a bit of chocolate and a bit of tea here. I got this through, through work, I don't know what it's like. It's supposed to be some Venezuelan chocolate. I can't see the bit. Ah, yes, so it's all come back to me now. 
So I've got some of the WWE Universe figures. So the first one we've got here is Braun Strowman. Ruthless monster, monster amongst men. And he's kind of got a beast man kind of armour to him. And you turn around the back, he's got these like claws. Um, he's got these kind of terror claws. I don't know which way this is part of. But on the back, the other figures include um, the Undertaker, if you can see that. Um, and the New Day, many faces of positivity, and the Rock as well. Um, so yeah, nice, quite good range there. I can't remember which other ones we got. Ah, so this one's a slightly different one. So this is Super Seven, but this is their take on the vintage one. Um, so this is Hordak here. So slightly different one. So not the Origins ones, but. Um, is be a, a good stand-in for now. Um, I think that's a good one to have on display. I got this one. <clears throat> um, I got this uh, from the 2000 X line, um, and it's Sky Strike Stratos. Now, I've got. I think I've got one of these already. Um, I can't see much difference from him. I can see he's got these like uh, extra wing pieces, and he's got these bits that fit on his feet. Uh, it looks like um, it all kind of flips out. Um, yeah, so it doesn't look much different. It's just got a few extra weapons from what I can see. Um, and that was, uh, that was $20, so um, yeah, I'll probably keep hold of them. Uh, if not, um, so we've got a few more of the He-Man Origins one. Uh, this one here is Roman Reigns. So he's like got a, a Fisto kind of arm to him. It's got a no fairly normal sort of armour. It looks a bit like Spider-Man, that kind of armour. I'm not particularly familiar with the wrestler, but he's got a kind of Fisto arm that you can plug on and a shield as well. So he's got that. Uh, next up, we've got the New Day, so that's the, that's the Many Faces one. So it's really cool, and it shows on the back his different different faces. So he's kind of got like a one where his, where, where his tongue's poking out, one where he's kind of um, laughing, and one where he's kind of making a bit of a, a funny face, and that's one where he doesn't have a moustache. Um, and then we've got three more to go in here. Um, so this cool one is uh, Macho Man Randy Savage. Um, so he kind of sports this kind of battle armor thing, um, similar to Battle Damage He-Man, and it looks like you can swap out that plate. And he's also got these kind of knee pad things. Um, yeah, so I mean, I may even use those on a, another figure. I don't know. And then. Put them back in as I take them out. This is a really cool one, and I think you know this could fit in with Masters of the Universe just as it is. Um, and it's kind of um, this guy's called uh, Ray Mysterio, and a bit like Stratos, he's got these wings things that you can't see on the back here, so they're clip on. And he just looks like a Mass of the Universe figure, I think, in my mind, anyway. So that's a really cool one. And the last one here is a really cool one because it's like a kind of like a faker um it's a faker john cena so he sees in this blue translucent plastic and if you take off that um sort of um what you call it body armor i guess he's got like the computer thing on his chest like faker did uh the original toy um you can see him there kind of with some of the other Master of the Universe figures there and he's kind of ready to serve. Yeah, so that's a really nice lot of toys there. Um, a few of the, a few of them, I'm not sure whether or not I'll kind of keep them on the wrestling side or put, because you know, I'm not really mega into, interested really. Um, I just really like the figures and because of their 
because of the He-Man kind of link in with it. So, you know, I'm not sure how many I'll have on display or, so, or how many I'll kind of use for customs. Um, not necessarily painting them, but swapping around all the different parts and things like that. Um, there is uh, one other thing I think I've got in here as well. So I'll just, that's a real small thing that I'll just show you. I'm just going to, to put all this back in. Yeah, Rick did a good job packaging this all because I'm doing a, a rubbish job of putting it all back. Um, it will all go in there eventually. Put it all back somehow. Put that on there, put back in there. The only other thing in there is these Masters of the Universe mini sets. And I got one Grayskull one and two Eternia ones. Now the two Eternia ones, was it three Eternia ones? I can't remember. Might have been three Eternia ones. Uh, not Eternia, the um, Snake Mountain ones. The Snake Mountain ones, a couple of them were duplicates. So I've put them to one side and they're gonna be his Christmas present for someone. So I'll say uh, what they are. And uh, so this one here, open it up um, you've got uh, a little Skeletor so I think I've got the Disco Skeletor and uh, now we've got regular Skeletor so I've got uh, Castle Grace the Gold to go alongside my Snake Mountain and that is everything uh, there are a couple other bits that I picked up recently so I can grab those as well and just show you those because there is some Transformers included in that. So let me just grab those a second for you. Um, so they're just at the back over here. So I'll just grab those and show you. So we have got Soundwave, the Netflix one. We've got uh, Generations Rotor Storm to uh, review as well, uh, and the small to show you guys. What else have we got? And then we've got another Netflix one. We've got the Optimus Prime, and we also have the kind of G2 Megatron as well. So plenty to be getting on with and reviewing. As you can see, I'll just move this out of the way. Um, I'm still in the middle of changing everything up and uh, getting this space ready properly. This table here is gonna be clear and gonna have like a bit of a set on it in terms of have like a Mega Supreme or Scorponok on it um, and have, have like a, uh, what do you call it, like a diorama sort of thing going on. So make it obviously not look like a table and have a bit of a battle scene going on. And then on top of that, I'm probably gonna have another table where eventually Snake Mount is gonna be. On this side, you probably can't see it, but there's a load of cardboard and glass where I picked up a new display, which I need to sort out. Other than that, it's looking uh, loads better. There's only one cabinet I've got to do um, where I've got to put lights in and sort that out. Uh, and it's slowly, slowly coming together. Um, and, you know, the next step will be with these glass cases is kind of putting, building dioramas for each of them. Um, and obviously that's going to take me forever to try and do. Um, also in the new year, I want to try and do another charity auction if I can. Um, it probably won't be box stuff, but it'll be, um, it'll probably be mostly kind of secondhand loose stuff that I'll, I do that for, but, um, hopefully people will be interested. Um, I might try a different tactic and just put it on eBay. I'm not sure. Um, things, if it's secondhand, I'm not sure how many people will want to go into raffle to win it. Whereas if people are bidding on it and thinking, you know, I'm going to get it for two, three pounds or, you know, uh, then it might be worthwhile someone doing. Anyway, that's it for now, guys. Uh, I digress. Um, 
I hope you're all keeping safe and doing well and have a great Christmas. See you all soon. Bye bye for now.